In Mahendra's line of work, his voice is his greatest tool. He's a monkey waller, or monkey man, whose job is to frighten groups of rhesus macaques from government buildings and residences in New Delhi. He does this by mimicking the sounds of their natural enemy, the larger langol monkey. This is to scare the monkey away. The monkey thinks a langol is around the corner, and this one, and then this one. That's to scare them away. We mix all three sounds so the monkeys think that a man has come with a langa. The government has employed 40 monkey men to shoo the trespassers from places they don't belong. Though revered in Hinduism, monkeys are widely seen as a menace, often breaking into offices and homes in search of food. They can even be dangerous, and in extreme cases, rubber bullets are used to scare them away. They destroy the records. They also destroy the instruments. They also play with the electric, electric wires, etc. So, and moreover, when people take lunch, then they take away their lunch and even sometime they also give them bite or they scare them for getting the food. So all these problems are there, they create nuisance. And that's why we have to take these actions. For decades, monkey catchers and trained langurs were hired to control the city's primates. But the government cracked down on the business last year after a court ruled that keeping the animals in captivity was cruel. Now that Mahendra has had to set his simian colleague free, he's forced to work alone. Now when we make the sounds, the monkeys look to check if a langa monkey is really there. Now we have to go much closer and keep on making the call so the monkey thinks a langa is there. It's become much harder and riskier for us than before. Gates and fences are no deterrent for Delhi's marauding monkeys, and monkey men have their work cut out to keep the mischievous intruders at bay.